Okay, so this is a little bit of a different video. It's not about Minecraft, but I think it will still be interesting. So this is a Game Boy that I modded a Game Boy Advance into. And to give you a little bit of backstory, so a few months ago I was on eBay and um, I noticed that there are IPS mods for um, Game Boys. So what this does is uh, you get a new front PCB and it's just a plug-in replacement. You undo the screws, you put in the new one and uh, it's done. You, uh, if you want to connect the speaker, you have to do two solder sort of joints, but that's everything. Um, and as you can see, uh, it has color. So uh, I had to have this. Um, so I didn't buy a modded uh, Game Boy on eBay. Uh, instead, I got the mod myself and uh, did it because I wanted to do the, uh, the, the modding myself. But anyway, so uh, you got different color profiles on here and you can modify them. Um, so there's a, a menu built in. You can also like uh, adjust different pixel effects and so on. Um, but when I started Pokemon, uh, this is a Japanese version, um, I noticed that, wait a minute, those are less colors than I remember from my Game Boy Color or Game Boy Advance. Um, as it turns out, the original Game Boy has four grayscale um, like uh, brightness levels. And uh, you can turn them into four different colors and uh, you can remap the colors. But um, the Game Boy Color and the Game Boy Advance, they actually use eight different colors because they can differentiate between foreground and background sprites. Um, and so I uh, wondered whether there was a way to get actually like eight colors on uh, this old Game Boy. Um, and it turns out there kind of is a way. Um, which is um, modding a Game Boy SP, like the Game Boy Color doesn't really fit, and uh, the original Game Boy Advance also doesn't fit, but the Game Boy Advance SP is small enough that it actually fits in there. Um, so when you put the game in there, and also you can wire up uh, the volume control, the link cable, um, the brightness control is... Uh, like the contrast control is then a brightness control um, and also the headphone jack. So when you turn this on, the, the display is a bit smaller than um, on the mod. First of all, because the mod has a bigger screen than the original and also because the Game Boy Advance SP screen is a little bit smaller than the original. Um, but what you can now see is uh, that there are actually like all the colors in there. Um, and it also got the original color mappings of the Game Boy Advance. Yeah, so this is like the, the correct colors. <laughs> um, maybe a bit hard to pick up on camera. Camera. Also, you can like turn off the backlight and have it uh, passive. And you can like turn on the sound. If I turn on the sound, I don't know if I get copyrights right. Anyway, um, so I will show you a disassembly of this. Okay, so now that we've got it open, um, on the left you can see the voltage regulator, which I used to get the, um, about 6 volt from the batteries um, down to about 4 volt that uh, the lithium polymer battery of the Game Boy SP used to have. Um, then there's a lot of connections, like the big ribbon cables are for the cartridge connector. On the bottom, um, the headphone jack. I just wire it up so that if you plug in the headphones, uh, it silences the speaker. Um, then of course there are the connections for power, um, for the volume control and for the link cable. Also, um, first I used the original front plate and um, cut it in half for the buttons. 
uh, but then I got a custom made PCB for the buttons that you can see at the bottom. Okay, so one more point before I um, end the video. You can also, since this is a Game Boy Advance, play Game Boy Color games. Um, Game Boy Advance games don't really fit in there, uh, but Game Boy Color games do. So I've got uh, Legend of Zelda here. Okay, see you.